what's up y'all you checking out the frequent flyer and if you're on the east coast good morning in the united states but i'm out here early in the morning with the full speed grasshopper 94 and i have my nanotech on here mod on the connection there no longer jst so now I have switched it to XT30. So we're gonna take this thing up on XT30 in a 3S. Have our first flight on 3S with this little guy. Everything else is the same. And it's ready to go already. So let's see if we can get a better channel on here. Sometimes you might be on a channel, but it might be a little blurry, not all the way clear. I advise that you do another search until it becomes really clear. Because you can fly away as soon as you get a little bit of distance, then you lose picture. So let's do a punch out. It's really nice on the punch out. Very floaty. Isn't as loud as I pictured. I thought on 3S that was gonna make it louder. It seems like that made it a little a little more quieter. Let's do some FPV. We got telephone wires over that side. I didn't know if I wanted to do a split S <laughs> or do a loop. Got a lot of breakup right there, I couldn't see. So it seems like it flies really nice. Inspect this hole over here. Oh, we hit the tree. <laughs> nice recovery, though. Hit the top of that tree there. kind of hard to power loop back out and through it with something little like this it's hard to really make out how much throttle you need so that's our three minute mark we're not getting any buzzer though <laughs> I'm about to get this thing killed trying to FPV through it underneath. Well, we're at our, our three minute mark, anyhow. Let's bring it back.
I'm still not getting any buzzer though. Got a little bit now. And it's finished. Let's check the motors. The motors are barely warm. It is a little cooler out here and that helps too. But this thing takes a 3S with no problem. So that's a quick FPV and line of sight flight of the full speed Grasshopper 94. Thanks for watching.